uh, just for kicks, that wire, those wires now go up to this wall switch, which controls the garbage disposal. We need to get rid of that now, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that apart and make 100% sure that that wire is that one right there. I can move the wire a little bit after I get it pulled apart and just verify. You know, am I 100%? I'm 99.99999%. But I've got to pull that out anyways, so I'll do that next. This is very simple to do. Just take the cover plate off here. And then the mounting screws are at both ends. Undo those. From underneath and sure enough that's it see okay so that wire can be done away with we can cut we can cut that off right there and I can I can pull that out of the wall if I want or I can leave it in there because it's never it's never gonna be reused that, Little bit of rigmarole to get it pulled out of there. I've got to take this off because they have some clamps inside this box. You know, I could leave it just like that, and when the when the countertop guy get, comes here, he can he can cover right over that. Just for the sake of it, if you want, you can cut that off. Let's cut it off so it's straight so I don't have all this actually I can I'll just straighten out those wires with my pliers okay. that way when the installers come if they see a wire cut off I don't want them getting all worried and shook like like oh is there power to that how come they've done that they shouldn't be doing that okay let's just push that back in there Let me see if I can't pull that out of the wall. And voila. There it is. We don't need that wire anymore. Now see, I don't have to put a blank plate on that or anything. The installers, they're going to actually take this Formica. This is just a thin sheet of Formica glued onto the sheetrock wall. They're going to pull that off. Then they're going to put granite from the from the counter on up the side of the wall. They're going to cover right over that, so that will be fine. I know I could throw this wire away, but I can recycle the wire. I could use it for little pull wires, pigtail wires, probing wires, whatever. And this fitting here has the nut on it too that I pulled out from underneath the sink. And so I can save this. I never know. You know, do I need this right now? No. But you never know when you might need it. And it'll work. You go to the store. Sometimes you have to buy. You can't just buy one if you need one. Usually they come in a five pack or something like that. So you got to buy five just, just for one. And you remember the one that you threw away last time. You could have used that. Hmm.
do you have to save the light switch? No, you don't have to. But, you know, in a pinch, if you save that, you might be glad you did. In case you ever needed one. But they're very inexpensive at the hardware store. Less than a dollar, you can get a brand new one. So, more than likely, this will never be saved for anything. But if you want, you could, you could keep this all together. You know? Put that back on there. Now it's all set up with the screws on there. And you, can, you can put that in your garage cabinet. You know, with all your knickknacks. In case you need one screw for something. Oh, yeah, it's on my light switch. Or cover plate. You can clean these cover plates off. You know? There. Save that puppy for another day.